Hi, I'm Maria back with Masico.com. If you're shopping for a flat iron, you might be confused by words like ceramic, ionic, or far infrared heat. In this short video, I'm going to make it easier for you to understand what you're really looking for. One common word that you're going to hear is ceramic. Now this is important because you definitely want a ceramic flat iron. If you go to a supermarket or a regular drugstore, you're gonna see ones that usually have just a metal plate or a plastic plate. You don't want those. The most important thing to know is that most flat irons have metal plates or plastic plates that are coated in ceramic. Now that's a step up. Then even above that, then you have your solid ceramic. Now they're a little more expensive, but it's a great investment. One of these would be the FHI Runway or even the Hanna Elite. These are good if you're going to be using it all the time. The next term I'm going to go over is Ionic. Now, even if it's not advertised on the box, if you have a ceramic flat iron, it's already ionic. Now, if you care what this means, it's just saying that if your hair has positively charged ions and this produces negatively charged ions, together it neutralizes them, which closes over the cuticle of the hair and makes it shinier and healthier. Another term you might hear is far infrared heat. Now this is just the most efficient and gentlest way to heat the hair, but any flat iron with ceramic heating elements will produce far infrared heat. Nanotechnology is another term you might hear, but this isn't always good. If the word nano is connected to the word ceramic, it actually means that there's only little particles of ceramic on the flat iron's plate, which isn't always your best option. Now, on the other hand, if you see the word nanosilver or nanotitanium, this is a good thing. Nanosilver is actually an antibacterial, and nanotitanium has more negative ions. Now, I've explained these different terms that you may have heard, but you may still be wondering if there's an actual flat iron specifically for ethnic or extra curly hair. The answer is no. It's just the different heat settings that you might use, or you might even want to go to a local salon and get a relaxer done, which will loosen up your curls. Another idea would be to use a fine tooth round brush and pull out the hair as you're blow drying. And then another option would be to definitely flat iron the hair in very small sections. To recap this video, I hope I explained the different terms that may have been a little bit confusing, but what it comes down to is you definitely want a ceramic flat iron. Masiko also has a great article called The Truth About Flat Irons, so please definitely visit that article and be sure to watch our videos. To get the same products and tools that I use in this video, visit Masiko.com.